Dude, I almost shaved my head this week. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a crazy start to the podcast. <laughs> Isn't that insane? I got a haircut I was not expecting that. the other day, and like typically they blend it up on the sides, and the lady like okay. shaved it all the way up to there. And I was I mean, like, you could pull it off. Yeah, I was like, it's not terrible. And then, of course, I walked in, and my girlfriend was like, dude, what did they do to you? And I was like, I I don't know. I thought it looked decent, but I guess it doesn't. So how do we fix this? And she was like, are you going to shave it? And I was like, I haven't thought of that. No? <laughs> I mean, so- I... I've joked about shaving my head. I don't think I'll ever do it. I did it as a kid once. My head is just too damn big for it to even ever look good. So. That's what I'm scared of. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, you know, up here. What if I got like some weird? You could pull it off. What if you I got some weird lumps hat, going on? Do it. It'd make you wear my hats. Finally, that's so true. And now, like, now that I got a haircut and it's all a little bit shorter, like all my hats fit weird, and I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. But the struggles of I guess having hair, it's a problem. Yeah. But dude, what is what has your week been like? What you been up to? You've been you've been doing some crazy stuff online. You've been doing some crazy busy. easy stuff uh-huh. online. I love it. Yeah, I was right before we started. I was like, yeah, I guess I have had like a few things going on. Um, the big one is I got I did a promotion for Air Movie, which was pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we like that. I was waiting for that one. How long is this? Dude, that's a 36-second clap track. I feel like that was really loud, too. So I know. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> I'll edit it. I'll edit it. Uh, it's so funny. So funny. Um, no, I, I got uh, reached out to by Amazon. Um, Amazon Video It's through them. Um, so it's going to be in select theaters, and then it's going to be on Amazon Video. Um, and they reached out, and it was very last minute. They were like, we are looking like are you interested they sent me an email like 10 o'clock at night really i was with abby and i was like no way like air movie just reached out and it was in my spam email i was like all right what is this like of course they're like hey like we read your story on your website and we think you're a good fit i was like whoa i was like i'd kind of toss it up there i didn't think like it's pretty interesting yeah so, that was pretty cool because I wrote it about a year ago. I gotta update it. Like, but there's hasn't been anything new on there in about a year. But for sure, um, yeah, that's how they wrote the email. Was, hey, like w- we think your content's really high quality, and we love your story, and you, we think you actually like care about shoes, and um, we'd love you to, we'd love for you to like represent the movie and promote it. Yeah, and like if you're interested, we can send over two content briefs. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm interested. So. Yeah the next morning sent over two briefs there's one where you use their effect on tiktok it was just a tiktok instagram promotion and then the other mm-hmm. one was like come up with a story and i was like i, I don't do effects or anything like that and i was like let me do like a story so yeah. um it was the 25th and they wanted a approved video by the 27th to go live <laughs> And they needed multiple revisions on it. Like, I had to submit it. So I had Saturday afternoon to film it, edit yeah. it, send it over. Sunday, they were off. And then I was supposed to have it live Monday. And so she looked at it Monday, revision. And then, so interesting enough, I had, my camera's not going to be able to show up, but I have my Jordan 1 artwork from a dude's mm-hmm. in Wisconsin. Yeah. And their legal team said I couldn't have it in the background interesting so i had to reshoot the whole thing oh man wasn't super bad because i already had the b-roll i just had to re like say it add captions again. but still that's that. free promo for the boy and it's like ah, oh, man. i know i was kind of hoping i could have it in there but they really it was interesting because the video they didn't want me to mention specific shoes mm-hmm. and in the brief they said we do not want you to only show nike shoes you need to show other brands which i thought was interesting because the movie's about that's what i was going to ask about too. jordan yeah and they didn't want the jordan one in the background because of legal reasons and artwork here my air is kicking on let me turn it off are you good so yeah that was kind of interesting um so yeah sorry uh uh my man because i couldn't have the artwork in the background if you're listening but uh 
No, it was it was really cool. It was a really cool opportunity. Um, uh, good little uh, good little promo, something to put on the the pitch deck. Yeah, pretty cool opportunity. So yeah, I got a lot of usually advertisements. It's like when you do an advertisement, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's an ad." Like I don't want to see an ad, but this one was like everyone in the comments was like, "This is sick!" Like this yeah. is cool that you're partnering with them. <laughs> so that was cool to see. Well, it was like I mean, even for me, like halfway through watching the video i was like is this an ad like i didn't read like around it i was like oh it's just like a regular winona video i was like oh this is actually really interesting then it got to the end i was like no way this is like actually an ad for them that's insane so it it was pretty cool i'm very excited about it so yeah now i actually have to go see the movie so and then i saw I think I've seen one other person do it, Genevieve, who's gone to a lot of the sneaker cons that I know. Mm-hmm. And she's really big female sneaker head that's um, done a lot of stuff with eBay. She works with Culture King. She's very corporate-sided. Yeah. Um, not necessarily just, like, freelance influencer, but she's very professional. And so she got a, a deal with them as well. But I haven't seen any somebody, some U.K. person with, like, uh, another female with like a million followers on Instagram that like posts like photos and stuff like yeah. those like explore page like all white and then like yeah. three like Jordan 1 highs that are all this different colors and it they're like so one of those people but I haven't seen anyone else do it so I'm yeah, kind of I mean, surprised it was, it was cool. they didn't like just mass go after like a lot of different people in the sneaker space because I mean obviously if you went after like 10 or so big creators you would think that's better but mm, Mm -hmm. i don't know i'm gonna look uh on the hashtag air movie partner i'm seeing just that one girl shirlinum 1.4 million london uk yeah i'm not seeing anybody and you had to put hashtag air movie partner yeah i would know but yeah three of us i mean it was uh i don't know it it was uh yeah very exciting i'll tell <laughs> like you more it. after but dude. um speaking yeah, of spam cool. folder dude i never really check mine this is through instagram though so for some reason i can't like fix requests? this yes so through like the requests but for some reason through my tiktok it only will link my personal instagram It will not let me change it. It will not let me, like, you know, relink an account. The option is not there. And I've talked to different people about it. They all have, you know, the option. So for some reason, it links to my personal. I never really check my personal, let alone check my personal request folder. So, like, two days ago, randomly hopped on my personal account, checked the request folder. There was, like, two or three. Clicked on it. One of them was from Antisocial Social Club. And I was like, man... I hope this is ago? not five days. Was and they it the Arizona one. Yep. And I was like, man, I didn't even see this. <laughs> and of course, I DM'd him back. I was like, yo, sorry, I don't check this. But uh, if you want to do anything else, shoot me a DM on my other page. And they're like, all good. We'll let yeah. you know in the future. But I was like, dang, that would have been cool. That would have been a bucket list item just to have. So, yeah, that's cool. Kind of bummed about that, but that's life. That's life. You got to you know, check all your folders. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. That's true. And then, uh, yeah, last night, dude, last night, I'm so tired. Like I was saying before this, last night I went to, um, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's the uh, the Bro Code podcast or Bro Code Network. It's a bunch of well, dudes. I saw something on your story about Yeah, it. they do like comedy on mainly TikTok, but they have a huge podcast, tons of, tons okay. of tons of traction but i'm good friends with one of the guys dj and he hit me up and he was like yo i'm going to this like networking event with this guy who does like a lot through twitch he has like a lot of people under his belt and helps him like you know get partnership Mm -hmm. and stuff so he was like yo you want to go to this it's like a rock star themed kind of hangout Mm -hmm. session i was like yeah and he was like uh it's gonna be a few like you know bigger names there like Lil Wayne's ex-manager is going to be there a few other people and I was like whoa I was like okay so no stress this is cool 
showed up and it was just like a lot of people just standing around talking. So I got to network with a bunch of huge like content creators on TikTok, mainly in like the comedy scene. So it was it was cool. Met a lot of dope That's people. Really cool. All of them were fascinated that I make content around sneakers and I knew like all the sneakers people were wearing. It was like one of the dudes that was like the biggest, I guess, out of their group was wearing a pair of like Rick Owens and someone walked up and he was like, Dang, what kind of shoes are those? And I was like, the Rick know. Owens. And he looked over at me, he's like, You know what these are? And I was like, Yeah. And then DJ's like, Yeah, he makes content on that stuff. And I was like, Yeah, <laughs> I do. So chatted a little bit but met a lot of cool people so kind of excited sick, hopefully get to awesome. he's building his own little like network eventually and he's like we want someone to be a part of it that's tapped into sneakers and i'm like mm, maybe one day we'll see but yeah so was out late last night with all of them but uh what other what other cool things have you done this past week i feel like that's not the only one but maybe it is maybe I feel like it's there was been, a lot of cool uh, videos you did. I gotta look, dude. I was talking to uh, Abby about this, how each day feels so long, but it feels so short at the same time. Yeah. Where, like, we were talking yesterday. I think it was yesterday when I posted the air movie. Yeah, it was yesterday when I posted the air movie. Was it really? It literally feels like five days ago. Or that's like, the thing and so i was i was literally facetiming her at night like i usually do and i was like mm -hmm. running through to my day and i was like wait did i post that this morning or was that like three days ago and yep. then it's like days over and now it's already wednesday and it's just mm -hmm. crazy but um minnesota twins player joe ryan yeah uh posted uh while well, the twins posted uh a picture of the team on Instagram and uh he was wearing my hat. No, oh, no hat. way. That's it. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that off to uh -uh. show you that. So that was uh pretty cool. That's insane. That and your uh nice kicks posting about your first tweet. I was like, what? Nice kicks, yep. And it's still up like <laughs> I was going through nice kicks before we hopped on just to look at like, you know, different talking points or something I missed. Mm -hmm. Scrolling through and then I just see charlie right there like six pages down and i was like what oh they like yep <laughs> dang <laughs> they promoting the ball no, it uh so i actually made a twitter just for that <laughs> really yeah uh, because nick mm -hmm. the guy that is like the head of uh excuse me the head of social media at nice kicks next to matt um, mm -hmm. I, the founder he was the one in like the hasbula video and stuff and yeah. um I did the JD Sports promotion with him. Oh, it was okay. Me and him were the only ones that did that golden ticket mm -hmm. promo. So then we were DMing back and forth, and um, he's like, "Cause I've seen him. There was a person that did a wear test on Dior Jordan ones one time. Really? And it was a Twitter thread, and they reposted it. Yeah, I wore them for thirty days, and it was crazy. And um, he's like, he DM you on like on day four or something. He's like, could you make a Twitter thread, like I'll repost it. I was like, well, I'm making a Twitter now. So, yeah. I mean, I just looked, it's got 42,000 likes on photos, which is that's insane. Ridiculous. 600 comments. I mean, I got so many DMS that were like, y you made it big time. <laughs> yeah. Like 5 million followers. So it was, it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that, uh, made a Twitter. That's what happened this week. I, he, he it was it was funny because apparently do you have Twitter at all? Yeah, yeah. So, I haven't been like on a it Twitter, a lot recently, but yeah, I used like to be a Twitter on it a thread. Lot. Familiar, um, yeah. He, because I every day I would just I like the first five days I like uploaded right when I got the Twitter, and um and then like just take my photo for my Instagram story, put the day fourteen or whatever, or the day ten, and then I'd put the photo on Twitter day fourteen or. I don't know why I yeah, said yeah. that twice, but and then come up with some caption, and then I would just tweet it. And he's like, "You gotta make like a Twitter thread." I was like, "What is that? Like, what are, what are you talking about?" I actually don't <laughs> even think like, I know how to do that. I just know. No, it's, so I was like, "All right, I'm gonna like copy this link and put it under the first one." And then it got booted to the top. And he's like, "Like, I guess you can do this now since you've already posted it." And he's like, "Just post it there." And then this morning, I forgot to post it in the thread. So I'm, 
a complete Twitter noob. I never thought I would actually be on Twitter. I was always a bystander because yeah. I know Rogan always talks about like Twitter is just like the epitome of the internet. Like it, it definitely, it's, yeah. And it's, I don't know, I guess being in social media, it's like gotta be everywhere. Uh, it's just not the place I wanted to be. <laughs> but yeah. I, we're there for the wear test. That's for sure. I don't, I have like a hundred followers on there. I don't know if I'll ever like tweet anything. Maybe if I'm like, I've thought about like going back to it drop or something. Yeah. Like, Cause that's what I used to do all the time. Cause I was like, really, I mean, I was into Twitter like before smartphones and you had to actually text mm-hmm. like a number for Twitter and add your tweet and add everything in your text message, send it. Wow. And then it would post right. to the website. Like, huh? That's when I was on it. And then kind of like, right. I didn't even know that was a thing. How it old was, are you again? Exactly. 29. <laughs> Way too old. Uh, but yeah, dude. When's that, your, uh, I forgot when's your about 30th, that. your 30th, by the way? August 10th. August 10th. Ooh. Shooting around right before the right big before day. The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. But are yeah. You, so- uh, little side rant. Are you guys planning on coming? Oh, it's definitely the plan. Still got to figure out, you know, logistics and everything, but everything. Yeah. It's definitely the plan. I, uh, I know as of now, Chance and Alex and Callie are driving up. Oh, they're driving? Interesting. It's only like, I think it's only like a seven hour drive. And if you fly in, then you would have to get a rental car in Minneapolis mm-hmm. and drive down. Or you could fly into like, I think it's like, so like 10. Before. I think it's like 10 hours for us. Okay. Something like that, because we talked about that too. Because then we were like, "Oh, well, then we would have a car." And she's really into Field of Dreams, and the Field of Dreams house is kind of in that general area. And she was like, "Oh, well, we could take like a little road trip and go see it." I think it was like an hour and a half or two hours, maybe even more, out of the way. But we were like, "She's always where wanted to see that." I don't know where oh, it is. Baseball. Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't even know where that. I've never been there. Yeah. I mean, it's a, I'm assuming, fairly big tourist attraction, like if you're into the movie. But well, they had a big. You can MLB stay there too. There. Yeah, it's like an Airbnb and everything. Oh, I wonder where it is. Like, how far? I mean, if it's like, I don't think it's like an hour and a half from here. Yeah. But it's probably pretty far, I would assume. But, uh, you know. The Dreams movie site. Where does it say? 46 hours what (laughs) well that's just not right that's just inaccurate uh 46 hours oh walking i was like (laughs) what (laughs) every time i go on apple maps now it gives me the walk it literally says 48 hours for how would it default thousand feet of elevation change as well it's a it's two hours and 40 minutes from what that's not That's terrible, cool. but I mean, if we're already driving there, all that way, couldn't hurt. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. We're still trying to decide. We might have a new car by then, too. And it's like, you know, break it in oh, and yeah. kind of take it out. But I don't know. It could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. No, it would be, uh, we'll be, we'll be living in the cities as well by mm. then. So I don't know if I told you. Well, I guess that happened this week, too. We signed yeah. an apartment officially. Yeah, in, we talked uh, about it a little bit last week, but not in depth. Officially yeah. signed on the apartment in Egan, Very Minnesota, nice. Minnesota, which is yeah. like ten minutes from the airport, which is going to be really nice. Instead That's of convenient. Two hours, especially so. for you, for how much? Yeah. Well, maybe not much anymore, but like you know, flying all over the place. It's like, who knows? <laughs> There's no <laughs> telling. Be, close to the Mall of America, which will be not Good a content. Been to the Mall of America, like I haven't. I guess if you guys come you can go to the mall of america there's yeah. been a lot of uh unfortunately there's been a few shootings there in the past over the summer it would be like i don't i don't think anyone ever passed away or anything but i think it was just like somebody would just walk in with a gun and it would be this lockdown and it happened like once every two weeks for like the whole summer so i didn't like Dang. go there over the summer but it's that makes sense, it's yeah. a huge mall i mean it's it's cool. Honestly, for sneaker side, not a lot going on. I yeah. mean, there's a foot locker. There's a finish line. Um, there's third degree heat, which is a resale shop. Prices are outrageous because rent is outrageous. 
I, um, can only I remember imagine. pandas were like 500 when they were mm. really selling for like 250 300 like at the height of it but um no it's it's cool um yeah. trying to think of what else is in minnesota uh cold Twin stadium there's cold pretty new <laughs> Less than ten years old, so it's pretty nice. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Cool. Speaking about twins, back to the twins. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, Ryan, Joe Ryan, starting pitcher for the Twins, who's rocking the hat. I was talking to him a little bit, and he's like, "Dude, like all the players, like they all love the hat, like they want one." I was like, "Damn it, like we don't have any more." You'll have left. to make so a Daniel actually one. found a couple. Yeah. I know we're gonna have to like, but we can't like. <laughs> do it where we get sued by the team i mean if it's, it's just like similar. colorway same kind of deal because what are their yeah, colors no. i'm not familiar it's uh it was the cream one i sent him okay so um mm. but i did uh i got the samples in for the next drop i gotta flash them on the youtube video for people that are watching yes all right <laughs> so we got both samples in. we did make some changes what are the big changes? What what are we looking at? I'll run you through. Give I'm us the lowdown. I'm not posting these anywhere on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. So um, if you really are a dedicated follower, you're getting a sneak peek that like I'm not posting these until we actually drop them. So um, I like it. We got the clay. So cool. light orange. They're both suede, which is mm -hmm. a different material, but it's a lot lighter. Um w on this one the side patch that we have we're That's doing cool color. Uh, the red we're getting rid of that we're doing a matching orange to the hat because i feel like the red just doesn't work as well it's kind of too poppy fair um on the inside there's a saying do more own less do you know who says that i want to say tom Sachs. <laughs> yeah so we are getting rid of that <laughs> yeah, i was about to say uh, is this a trick question? And I was like, should I say it? So, yep. So we are getting rid of that and we're just going to pull it on a kick. Um, <laughs> oh, and that sucks. I know. Kind of a bummer. but Because um, that's cool. That's so cool for the hat, too. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's a little extra finesse. But then we have the brown one, which I'm going to be rocking yeah, so dude. much. I mean, these, like, you can see the suede. That's like, clean. Like, it's money. So I've been rocking this one a ton. Plus For sure. The underbrim is like a cream. Yeah. Same saying that we're getting rid of. But yeah, it's super. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Plus, they're a lot lighter than the corduroy. So for the summer, it's going to be nice. Um, that is a must. And a uh, couple more in the works for the following drop. So yeah, it's Definitely. other than that, that's. it has been a busy week, I guess. Um, oh, also one more thing. Mm-hmm. Um, haven't posted about it, but I am a Puma partner now, which is nice. Really cool. So I am on their seating list. So they are just going to send me like Lamello balls and, uh, like their new shoes. And so they sent me, um, I got one of like a freelance agent that I work with. He, uh, he's got the connection at Puma and I was like, I'd like to work with Puma cause they got Lamello ball shoes. And he's like, let me pitch you to them. And he's like, it was pretty easy to pitch you because, like, your yeah. stuff's, like, Speaks for itself, and, yeah. And uh, he's like, they were all on board. Like, you'll get a package. And I was like, all right. And so I was, like, expecting a pair of shoes. They sent me five pairs of shoes. They sent me three pairs of suede's. Oh. They sent me. And See, that's all I would want. It's like. It's and then they sent me two different me. models. I was thinking of you when I, when, the, like, I got them. Um, and so I got a full, full YouTube video going out in a day or two about it, but, uh, dude, that's so funny. Cause I'm not even kidding on my work computer. Uh, <laughs> I have like two tabs open of like just different people that work at companies that I want to work with. And Puma was one I was work looking at. I think it was either yesterday or Monday. What day is it? Wednesday. Yeah. I had their you tab should. open they, and I was like, they got oh. some cool stuff. Yeah, they do, because I follow them on Instagram, and every time they post something like a little more unique, I'm like, dude, wait, that's kind of, it's kind of sick. I I just texted you pictures of the other two models. They're not my favorite, um, but they're cool. 
Let's see what we the, got. The suede's are cool. It's a red pair, a black pair, and a blue pair. So I've I'm seen those. Do. Oh yeah, the uh the RS RS somethings and then the Velofinas they're called. The those are cool. I, I've seen those around. I know for sure, but like yeah, the suede's just just send me every suede they get. Just come on, Puma. That's all I want. I, I you know how much I would pay for us to be the same size because. Like, oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so easy. It would be sick because then it's like I could go for retail stuff for you that I don't want, and then, like, you could do the same for me. And then, yeah. like, the Puma suede. Constantly like, back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I would, like, I got three pairs of the suede. Like, I don't think I'm going to rock all three as much as, like, you would rock a pair, so I'd send you a pair. But, like, you're not the same size. If, only, if only I could grow. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped growing too early. Speaking about uh, same size, I see a couple of pairs behind you. That one on the wall, we need to talk about because I want those. I messed up last episode because I said I didn't. I said I liked them, but I wouldn't really go for them. The second I opened them, like I knew you dude, your mind. buttery, buttery, the suede or new book, just buttery, dude. It's so and pretty. We are talking about the the Yudos or the Yukos. Which Yudo Horigami SB Dunk Low. So he's an gotcha. Olympic gold medalist, professional skater, and this is his first signature dunk. It looks like a it's kind of like what we were talking about last episode, where it has kind of the what was it the Stussy? Was it Stussy? Yep, it's kind of the the, the cherries, what or whatever they call them. What's the name of it? The uh... Not muted colors, but uh, Neapolitan almost look with the Neapolitan pink, brown, cream. Um, just not super vibrant colors, but kind of like a steel gray with the pink. Yeah, they're the pictures you post. I want those, dude. Thank you. Yeah, dude. The, what's crazy is the one thing that sold me on this pair, which you can't really tell in a lot of photos, but it has a slimmer tongue than typical oh, really? SBs. So it's not like super, super fat. And that's like the one gripe I have with a lot of SBs is I'm just like, it just looks too big. But like, see, I, I kind of like the thick tongues, like the Benji's that I have are like uber thick. Tongue. That does look good. And like some of them, I really like it on. And then like others are like skate shoe, but that's like is. more of a hybrid almost, which is so weird. I'm like, cause this one's like for sure meant for skating, obviously who it's a collaboration with. But yeah, it's like it just gives it a little bit more of a slimmer look, and I'm I'm here for it. How's that? Is that inside material? Is that like a nice leather? It's the so it's the same as well. They haven't even come out yet, but like the Run the Jewels pairs, how it's like a almost suede. It probably feels almost identical to the hat, honestly. Like a not thick suede, very very soft. I don't even know if you can see that on camera because it probably won't pick up. But it's yep. weird. I'm like, mm, it's an interesting choice. That is interesting. But yeah, dude. That... Now I'll go for it. Speaking me. about skate shoes, how pissed are you those airships are friends and family only? I'm furious. I'm furious. I'm so mad about that. I want. <laughs> uh... I'm like livid. Like I'm real mad. That, if that, dr- I, that might be this. I just ordered a pair of airships for. Which ones did you get? Forgot. Uh, the yellow ones. I love those. I, like I forgot I hit. I uh hit a hundred k on Instagram, so I bought the yellow ones like as a like a reward. Yeah. I put like the date on them, and um, they were like a hundred thirty bucks. But those, right? Uh, the what's what's his name again? Sylvester. Is that your thing? Nigel. Yeah. Yep, Nigel. Those are so sick, and I wish we were getting them, but we're not. Same. It just has that vintage look. The yellow pair would look really good if you got some of that like Foxtrot uniform, like yellowing, kind of age that. the midsole, replace the laces, like kind of mm-hmm. not like custom custom, them, but just make them look a little more mm-hmm. their age. I, I guess we'll cool. just have to uh, settle for those Supreme highs that you got behind you. How do you like those? Dude, everyone's geeking over the Supreme Do you highs. like them? Like in hand, it's different than look. I mean, yeah. At it. I, I definitely like them. I feel like I would wear the lows more just because that's me. But, I mean, they yeah. definitely have more detail on oh, the wow. print 
because yeah. obviously there's just more surface space so you can actually see what mm -hmm. the print is supposed to be super cool i like the like kind of cream gray suede they use it's definitely buttery like there's nothing wrong with it the only thing i would change is just take off the little metal hang tag and oh you don't like that no that's just, eh, it's too flashy for me i like to keep it basic I kind of like it. I I like it, and I don't like it when they yeah. do that. I think it's kind of cool, just an added little detail. Because what else did they do them on? The lows, the starry ones with like the snakeskin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. I'm like, it's fine. Depends on the shoe. Uh, I just like that pair, the star, the starry pair. I feel like it works with more because it's, you know, more of a flashy design. See that I like. If it was like, low is, if it was flat black Air Force One matte, I would like it more. But because like this isn't that flashy of a shoe that kind of, you know, warrants having a gold bar on it. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's definitely not bad. But the, these I really All right, like. Now you got to tell us what we're. Yes. At right here. The Palomino Air Jordan threes. So it looks very similar to the I think it's just the Mocha threes that dropped back in 2019, 2018, something mm -hmm. like that. Three very up. Cool. Very cool shoe. It's got the cracked suede all over it, giving it that cool kind of effect that Jordan Brand. We talked about those last episode. Didn't a we? little bit, a little bit. Because we were talking know. about the cracked suede. Did we? That. Well, I know we talked about that. I think we just talked about that off like some other pair that we saw. But I don't know. Maybe it was these two. The only thing I don't like is just the gold. And a lot of people are saying they should have done the tongue, just white or cream. Just to make it look a little bit yeah, that more uniform. Been nice. But like the gold on the match. jump man on the back, I'm like, fine. But I don't know. To me, like, I would wear them. When I, <laughs> when I actually took the on foot shots, that was the first time I've ever had my foot in a pair of threes. And I was like, oh, this is really this is interesting. Yeah, I tried like a few different, you know, fits on with them, and I was like, they're fine. They're not my style. I just mean that's your first time wearing a pair of threes. I know. And they're my size, too. So I was like, okay, let's see. Let's see. Take it's them for a test for a, drive. Uh, time for a little bonus. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. But, yeah, I like them. They're definitely not bad. Um, trying to think. Is there anything else you want to dive into before we talk about some shoes? New shoes. We're already 30 new minutes shoes, in. New shoes. I say we dive in. Let me see. So we're going to try this new thing where I can share my screen. So if you're watching on YouTube, you actually get to watch along with us. So yep. definitely move over to YouTube. Let's see if this works. Bingo. Okay. Dude. So let's see what we got. There's actually quite a few cool pairs. Anything in this first little section you like? We can just go uh, back and forth, whatever we see that we want to talk about. So if you scroll down, it, unless you see anything, if you no, scroll down, really. the first pair I want to talk about is these Lucky Green Jordan 3s that are coming out right. um, May May 18th. I thought they were supposed to drop in early April. Thought so. They might have got pushed back. They've been pushing back they so definitely much did. stuff. Yep, because I was about to put them on next week's video for shoes that are dropping during the week because I was, I believe, on Nice Kicks. Um, yeah, drop alerts. They have them dropping April fifth. But yeah, these lucky green Jordan threes, very white cement reimagined, cream midsole, elephant print. Is it a um, women's exclusive them? though? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Oof. Um, which is all right because threes I go true to size on. Yeah. Um, so I can get a ten and a half, but I don't think I'll get them. Um, not even gonna like. Tend to, I mean, I like them a lot. I like the aged midsole. Like, gives it just a little bit more character. Yeah, but. I mean, they're just they're too similar to the white cement reimagines that it's like why have, have those? Yeah. And I'm wondering if this elephant print is going to get screwed up like the white cement pairs. Too. I'm, I'm so curious. Gonna... So leather looks good though. These? How do you like <laughs> go <laughs> scroll there down? Down, 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 there, up, up, there. Look at the laces on this picture. <laughs> Dude, 
he <laughs> Yankee Kicks has the laces just all over the place. You know that it's a small <laughs> size, and he is just toes curled trying to fit in them. Probably. I almost yeah. guarantee it. That's funny. I guess, yeah, you're in the early pair. On yeah. Pick, grinder, so you get the... You get That's the problem. Doing, I don't. I don't know what yeah, their deal is because he has. I mean, like, dude. I feel like every early pair he either has in his size or around his size because they're all on foot shots. So I'm like, yeah. How is he getting these in his he's size? He's probably. Yeah. He's probably like a size nine, nine and a half. If I had to guess, yeah. We need to yeah, see him in some Air Jordan twos. He just can't do what he's doing. That have the actual size on them. But yeah, they're they're definitely not bad. I feel like threes, they're solid. You know what I think is funny? Three hundred ish. Oh, for sure. Not like too too crazy, but I could have mm-hmm. swore these the Nike Dunk Low Setsubins that I showed months ago. Now I could have I swore these have released multiple times. So I'm just really confused. April eleventh, it says. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, such so just a for. I mean, I don't know the the origin of any of it i don't know the story on them it's I like a green it's a festival so it's like the i'm gonna but butcher it but it's like the bean throwing festival to cast out like bad omens or bad demons and stuff like that Demonic so motifs yeah mm. i don't not very it's just a... they're boring in my opinion yeah they're cool like swoosh. i mean i tried them on foot and i was like definitely cool mm-hmm. but I like the shades of brown and like the the base of it is like this cracked. It looks literally like the floor of the desert or something like that, like a dried up lake. It's kind of got oh, really? like little cracks in it. So that's pretty cool. Um, on another note, if you like pandas, uh, we're <laughs> we're getting some panda mids. So that's it's pretty exciting news. Which uh, there's an all black pair canvas mid, and then there's a colorful pair that are like. A day ago, I was on Nike, and they're actually just available for purchase. So Nike Dunk Mids are not selling out. Or at least those came ones. That's so funny. It's like the highs. I mean, like, dude, you walk into any retailer, and highs are just everywhere. Yeah, you can still it's pick insane. them up on Nike for 115 bucks. That's actually like a good deal. It is. 115 bucks for the. They're called the yeah, just the color prints, huh? But yeah, Panda Mids. Mid. <laughs> Mid for sure right. they're canvas canvas material on shoes is just i hate it it oh i didn't even realize that is it just the black that's canvas or is the white oh it's the whole thing i mean for skating purposes it might be a little bit more comfortable because you for can sure. kind of move it around easier but i don't know white canvas just gives me like anxiety through the roof oh my gosh you could stain them i if i honestly i would get the all black canvas mid because like and they're available on nike for 115 bucks right now if you want them but um yeah i feel like that would be your best bet because like unless you get bleach on them i think you're okay (laughs) that's so true all right next uh you want to talk about these i'm not too familiar with them but they look kind of cool i don't know the The air Air max one yeah Yeah, I mean, All right, next we're looking up. at the Air Max <laughs> One. Keep ripping, stop slipping. Um, it's returns like, in twenty twenty three. Apparently, they've already. This is a retro. I guess. Um, I like the shape. The shape they looks originally better. released in two thousand eight. Sneaker was a part of Nike's greatest hits pack, with also also featuring the Nike Air Stab running, gunning, and the Nike Air Max King of the Mountains. Not expected to be one of the marks. It's, it's, uh, it's an Air Max one with like a leopard print almost, orange toe box, like a satin toe box, and then there's like a, a black fur on and the pony side. Pony hair, yeah. Yep, the pony hair, and then it says on the back... Keep ripping, stop slipping, or something like. Yeah. Keep ripping, stop slipping. The outsole's cool, a little translucent hint. Right. Near the toe box, um, if you scroll all the way down on that. Yeah, like kind of cool, but 
I don't know. What do you think about these? I'm just not a big Air Max. I, I mean, like it definitely Air looks. Max. Yeah, I've, I'm not the biggest fan of the silhouette, but it's definitely got the retro look. I mean, the Safari kind of print all over it. It's cool. Yep. If you're an old head or you know, how do you like uh, those big bubbles just dropped? Do you like those at all? I mean, they're decent. I don't. Know, something about the big bubble, and I know I've heard people say this in the past. It just makes them look cheaper or more like just a shoe that you could get at like pay less or not pay less, but like rack room shoes or yeah, something I like that. You know, it's like oh, I like, like it better off honestly. brand. I feel like I would like. On foot, I feel like they're way more comfortable, for sure. I, but I think I like the history of it more than the actual design. Yeah, yeah. But I slept in on the drop in the sneakers app. It's no. just ain't cold for me. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's always a good day for that. What do we think about these? Uh, Comme des Garçons uh, Nike Terminator High. Oh, so I want to talk about these. Yep, yeah, they have. You got? Uh, did you see the marketing campaign where they had? cgi elephants playing around with them like no in the metaverse. oh i gotta it i was, gotta find that yeah look up cdg terminator you could probably pull it up now true um cdg terminator um elephant it was cool it was on instagram i think it was and um Interesting because AI and chat GPT and all these things are kind of taken over right now. And so to see a company kind of implement this into advertising, I thought was really interesting. So, yeah, huh. you can see the – it was just elephants, like, sitting in the shoes, like, yeah. playing with it. It looked very CGI, like, very fake, but um, I like kind of cool. Though. It's different, which we need different. That's creativity. Do. I applaud it. I'm here for it. I uh I want to get a pair of Terminators. I want to get like same. The ideal sneaker collection in my mind is one pair of every model and like your favorite from each model. Like I have a bunch of Jordan ones. I could totally go with just Mocha ones. Like if that's all I could have, I would just have a really nice pair of Mocha ones. Like that's I want how I am with the Obsidians. Like I just got rid of all my other Jordan ones because I was like I'm not wearing these. When I wear Jordan yeah. ones, I want to wear the Obsidians. Sorry. Exactly. Like, like one pair of dunk like all I want for dunks is the camcorder dunks or the Benjis. Like that's all I need. Like dunk highs, buy use. The ambush air forces, boom. Terminators. Yeah. I got a pair of airships coming. So I definitely want to pick up a pair of Terminators eventually. I like if you had to pick a color, blue, red, or black, what what would you pick? I don't know. I'd go black. That's kind of what 100%. I'm thinking. I feel I like the blue though. I also like the red, but I just don't wear red. Like it doesn't the red's go with almost that like classic Chicago. Yeah, it's like that laser red almost or whatever they call it. But all right, now picture this. Picture the red, but it's got the Foxtrot aging on it. Oh, it looks so good. That would, that would look be cool. so good. Switch out the laces and everything like mm -hmm. it's a clean shoe. That's so, we should do yeah, that like, like next episode or somewhere down the line and just go through a list of like 20 silhouettes and just list our favorite colorways. I think it'd be fun. Let's do that next week. Yeah, let's Let me do it. The calendar. I, I like, like that. that. It'd be fun. You getting Xbox invites? What was that? There's no telling. Probably. It might have been me. I don't know. It would not surprise me. Um. All right. You pick the next one here. I'm going to put that in my calendar. I don't know about this pair. I was looking at these earlier, but it's like a ALD 1906R, and it's, like, all over cream with, like, almost jade, dark green accents. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is my favorite. I love the dust bag. Like, that's that's cool, but... Dust bags are cool, but you forget about them. Exactly. It's like, box. it's just going to go in the box. Like, I'm never going to use it. It collects dust. That's why they call it a dust bag. That's so true. That's so. Is um, that like copper kind of hit on the end? The looks of it. I mean, the, with the green sweats, the person that's like advertising them, that works. But yeah, forgettable. I mean, I'm down on ALD. I just got my pair of five fifties delivered that I ordered a year ago, so I'm still kind of 
down on ALP. Yeah, it's like that 150 turn. bucks was just floating for a year. I basically took out a loan on my money and then said, "Hey, like think about it. Like I I really was thinking about like seeing if I could find the manufacturer for some bootleg ALDs customizing them and getting them in before their actual pairs come. Like I feel like you, you could. could get Yeah. Like it took 10 months. It was 10 months. That's, That's way too long for the size of a car. I wonder why they did that. And New Balance. I wonder why. And it is illegal in California, by the way. If you don't... So Kanye West got that. sued for this. Yeah. Where it was like, if you don't ship out a product within 30 days, like, you can't do that. And so what happened was, right when you placed your pre-order, three days later, you got, oh, your product has shipped. Nice. And then they send you an email saying, we'll keep you updated. These haven't gone into production. And then in like November, I got, hey, we're starting production. And then in January, I got, hey, production's finishing. And then like 10 days ago, I got, hey, we're just actually shipping. Like tracking number has updated. Like they've actually updated. been received by That's the carrier. That's so funny, dude. And then they just got delivered to my home, my parents' house. So, I mean, it's kind of sketchy. So I'm down on ALD. These are just... Like a yellow, green, gold, black. I mean, I don't know. It's nothing special. I feel I'm like I'm down on them. It's kind of like a jail collab uh, where I'm like, it could be GR. Which ones? I just sold my Jones right before the podcast. Did you? N1. Yep. I don't blame you. How about these Salomons? Is that how Solomon. you say it? Salomons? Solomons? Solomon. I want a pair of Solomon Ooh. so bad. Spe- specifically, I, I can't speak. Specifically this model. I think this is the XT6. Yeah. Yep. Dude. The XT6 is kind of the popular one with the the drawstring laces. We have a uh, Atmos collab called the Stars Collide. It's an all black upper. The midsole has some speckling, speckling mm-hmm. which looks like stars. The the upper print actually has stars kind oh, of all over Atmos, it. says Atmos like on the where the tongue would be too. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. This would be a really. I, I want to get just the all white pair. And yeah. Just beat them. Like I don't. I, these are kind of sneaky cool. Like I don't. I, I love the it, silhouette. It almost looks navy blue, but I don't think. I it think is. it is. At least the mesh. I think the material. Yeah, I think you're right there because the the actual star print is black, but the. The like the mesh is yeah. navy blue. I like how it says Atmos on the tongue too. Yeah, that's that, pretty cool. That's a cool touch. But dude, every time I, I go into Wish Atlanta, it. they have like three or four pairs of XT sixes sitting. Craziest colorways, like just the most like neutral, perfect colorways you can imagine. Really? And every time I'm in there, I like want to get them, but I just don't because I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't need it, but I want it. So it's like, oh, it's a struggle. Oh, one day. Definitely one day. At some point, I really want to get the all-white pair. I'm Yeah. Because oh, the white pair looks red. so cool because on the tongue, the little, like, uh, tab color. or whatever. Yeah, it has, like, the hit of color. Says Solomon. It's, like, yellow, red, blue, green kind of stripes. Dude, it makes them look so cool. 160 bucks. That's, uh... Like, it's not terrible, solid. but... Eh. When there's so much other stuff coming out, like I still can never decide what I want. Yeah, but then we're back to that debate of we need one of each model. Yep. yep. We don't have those yet. So that might be that might be in the works. Definitely. I like I like um, this colorway. The New Balance five eighty washed burgundy with like a tan base with washed burgundy overlays. I'm not a huge fan of the silhouette because the thicker outsole. So I don't think I would wear it, but I just, Colorway wise, I I love that. A toe box looks it's just wonky. Too, too fat. These are mad ugly, in my opinion. Dude, but like people love them. Like on the complex sneakers podcast, like they talk it's about a them. Classic it's all a, the time, and I'm like, uh, it's got a thicker tongue too, which kind of surprises me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It it just looks like a beefed up. Uh, what's the classic one that everybody wears 991 uh-uh not even it's like it a, looks like a 991 it kind of does actually like it's 
layer aiming forward. Yeah. Like where the back of the midsole goes up. I don't know. So I think I think really the only thing I don't like is the toe box. Because now the that I look at it, looks like a fake pair of Jordan ones from the side. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> like it's That's so really funny. thick. Speaking about toe boxes, so this just not even Jordan one related, but I already Jordan, know where you're going with this. No, you don't. Maybe you do. Um, but the Air Jordan Four SB, I realized the other day, the toe box is so thick. And I think that's the main thing. I feel like it is. And I'm just like, ooh, it turns me off to it a little bit. But what do you think about the rumors going around that there's going to be three other colorways of the Air Jordan 4 SB releasing this year? How does that make you feel? I will not be wear testing them. Just putting that out there now. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Bring them on. Give me a mocha colorway and I will retire oh, from cool. sneakers. See, it it drives me insane because I guess all the mock-ups are the exact same as the green, just Blue, with different red, colors. And yellow. I'm like, oh, dude, if they do it like that, I feel like it just kind of ruins it. I don't think they will. I think that the people that do mock-ups and no offense to Z or anything. I know it was Z too. I was like, mm. <laughs> They're just color changing the green, and then they they're like tossing it out. Easy concept post. Like if um, they made every pair different, like a black cat, and then they did like you know like a mocha kind of look to them, and like dude, give me a mocha pair of those. I pff, down. I would wear. Oh them. my gosh, we need it. That would be insane. I don't know. I mean, I, bring the colors on. I like it. I like the shoe a lot. I'm getting pretty tired of wearing them already. <laughs> wear test. I'm Makes just sense. like ready to wear something else but um i gotta post halfway update tomorrow so they're getting pretty beat so i've i've noticed to this and check that out it's still kind of cool what are you posting that on just uh like instagram, instagram or is this a youtube TikTok. it'll be okay. a short and then uh, i'm doing one other short like three-fourths of the way and then a final short and then shipping them off to rejuvenator right after and then they're going to professionally clean them and then send them back for a final reaction. And then we're both going to post videos. I believe the 27th of April is what we're shooting for. So oh, nice. That's awesome. Though. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Yeah, no, it's uh, I'm excited too. I'm ready to get them cleaned. These photos are sick. So we are looking at the Jordan one high Palomio. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's the same basically as the, the same as the, the Mocha One. Yep, it's basically the Mocha One brother, where it's instead of like the sail upper and the sail mid panel, it's all black. I I've like definitely it. seen these on Instagram. I like it. I don't like the gold on the tongue. Like, same thing they did on the threes, but this one looks a little more yellow. If it's yellow, I love it. If it's gold, I'm like. <sighs> I think it's yellow. It looks the, yellow. The leather actually looks pretty nice on these. It looks very, very similar to the mochas. I'm going for them. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. I'll go I'd like them. a pair. I'd wear them. I'd the wear way. them once. <laughs> you wear them once. Like the, my pair of regular. I'd, yeah. I, I just like my mochas so much, but the problem is, like, if I want to get another pair that's, like, new, they're 500 bucks. So, um, that's the and they've always been that. Like, insane. they never just, like, slowly went up. Yeah. So, I don't know. These are cool. I definitely like them. I, I like the yellow text on the inside of the tongue. I tag. Too. Just the leather. Dude, it looks so good. That looks like a really good brown leather, too, with, like, the actual, like, character to it, the movement, and the scratches. I think it's like, suede. It may be. Or, like, a... It may be, like, a new buck kind of deal where it's like in It'd between be new, yeah. it's but, hard to tell because the person just jammed up the clarity effect on these photos yeah, you can definitely, definitely tell huh? um but yeah they're cool i like them some more photos up close it's still kind of hard to tell oh that is yellow didn't that photoshop yellow, out this hair though tag. <laughs> rookie mistake yeah plus i got the blue tint on the entire thing i know i'm like uh 
They're definitely uh, artistic photos, not necessarily for the like official images type this? level work. FKZ sneakers. I've been seeing their stuff going around, and I'm like, hmm. huh. You know what's interesting is like, if I was loaded, I could do what Private Selection does, what like Mo does, mm-hmm. what Z does, what All Unlove is. Ones does. Like, all you have to do is get plugged in with the people, and then just dish out way overvalued prices, and then post them before everyone else. Yeah, and, and then, then you can be. You can be the next Yankee Kicks. The problem is, I don't like. It's just a lost cause because you're spending, let's say, a thousand dollars on those, and then prices are actually four hundred. Like, you'll never get that back. Never. It's marketing expense. That's all it is. But it's a lot and of marketing then, expense because there's a lot of shoes back. coming out. Yeah, that's what I don't get. Like Yankee Kicks, they're getting like almost every pair early, and I'm just like, I'm same gonna, with private. I have a lot of followers. Well, private selection I get because they have a lot of revenues and a like store. They just they just open up another store. Yeah. So like I, I get that they go to events, they resell. Like I can see where the revenue model comes, but like a Yankee Kicks or even Mo. Like I get there's a Discord for sneaker knockers, but like, mm-hmm. but when he would get like GR tough. dunks, I was like, what are you doing? Like why are why are you spending money on some GR like? special whatever those i can't even think of the name of them it was like the special edition about. dunk with like the different material and look i was like why would you buy this dude like who's gonna I mean, buy Yankee this from Kicks you has three hundred thousand on instagram yeah it looks like he resells so which makes sense too yeah yeah i just besides the socks like i actually respect him because he doesn't watermark his stuff mm-hmm and it's it just doesn't the have socks to. and yeah. everyone knows what it is already. But yeah, I mean, how many times do those photos just get ripped and get put other where? And it's like you're not That's getting paid I, for that. But like, yeah, it's marketing. I don't even watermark the ones that I post. I just watermark when it's on sneaker knockers. And Mo gets mad at me because people will repost mine and not sneaker knockers. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I took them and I don't want to watermark my stuff. It makes it look tacky care yeah no it's more of like uh it's just uh, uh we've talked didn't we talk about this a last, little week? Bit last like, episode i'm just like i uh, just i don't think it does anything like no one's gonna look at the photo and be like oh my gosh i mean except me like a few photos back when i was like who is this but you know. yeah you, you're not gonna go you're not gonna go follow them you're just like no. who is this yeah i don't know all right let's know. keep going what did you look at this? The Fear of God Adidas basketball sample. I know it's not the shoe we're getting. I think is what Jerry said. Like just an early sample, but these photos are huge. They're yeah. ugly. Yeah, I don't. They're very reminiscent of the Fear of God Nikes, in my opinion. Oh yeah, but like just the three stripes on the toe. I'm like, no, it's not. Speaking about Adidas, we got to talk about uh, their little lawsuit against Dude. Black Lives Matters. They're just digging their grave. I saw that last night they were suing the Black Lives Matters organization okay, though, for um there you go. Yeah, it's right on Nice Kicks for a shirt that they came out with that was an all black shirt. It said Black Lives Matter and then it had three yellow stripes down the middle. And so Adidas was like, hey, let's get everyone to hate us a little bit more and let's sue them. And then within eight hours, they revoked it. And all the news articles, like everyone already picked it up that they were suing them. And then like when I woke up this morning, it was like, oh, they're revoking the lawsuit. And it's like, it's just a PR nightmare over at Adidas right now. Dude, why would you make it a public thing? Like if you're Adidas. I don't think they intended to. Like, and then it did. Like, All you had to do was just call them or whoever's in charge of it and be like hey come on like i don't want to make this a thing i'm i'm curious how that got leaked because it's probably public information but it's sure. like somebody picked it up and then everyone picked it up and then adidas is like we shouldn't be doing this because the pr is going to be ridiculous so then they revoked it like it was literally last night during my radio shift i saw that and i was like wow this is surprising yeah. and then when i woke up this morning it was revoked 
I was like, golly, there it is. I mean, I can't. It's just so funny with Adidas. They got a billion dollars in inventory with Kanye that they don't know what to do with. They got they're suing people that they shouldn't be, and then revoking it right away. They're, I mean, it's just like they can't it's just win. Brutal. It's just... pretty funny. And they dropped Beyonce because that collab just tanked. tanked Nobody dude. bought those. So, so bad. they dropped her. Every single like, outlet just... I went into. Beyonce it's so everywhere. funny. I mean, it's just, it's hilarious. And Adidas, I love you. Like, NMDs, like, just create another NMD craze and you're set. Like, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But, like, the S1s are not going to do it. The Addy Q foams, like. To me, the Ultra Boost is still, it. like, their best shoe that, like, 100%. currently they're doing. I would still go to the mall right now. And if the right the colorway was there, I'd buy it. Hundred percent. Well, it's just such a good all-around shoe. That everyone knows it. Yeah. Like they don't need to get crazy. They just need to get a good shoe that everyone will wear, like the Roshis or Easy Three Fifties, or like people that aren't into sneakers would yeah. buy them and they would pay like hundred fifty dollars for them because they're like kind of hip and cool. Like do that. Like remember, like the human races and the NMDs and back like, in the day, that dude. was the shit in high school. Like if you had a pair of those, it was the coolest thing ever. That's what I miss. I miss those. Speaking about that, did I ever talk about uh, these that I got back from the goat storage? You did a, a while ago, but talk talk about it again because I'm sure a lot of people didn't hear that. Yep. So I got uh, back in high school. This was only like one of the first pair of cool kicks that when everyone was rocking, these are Zebra NMDs, and everyone was rocking them. I was like working at Culver's. I was like, I can't spend hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. So I bought them for 35 bucks on Poshmark used. I wore them into the ground. They're still cooked. And at some point, like I sold them, like they're still wearable, like for a mesh material, like it's still held oh, up yeah. really well. They're really comfortable. They have no insoles, never got insoles with them. But at some point I put them in goat storage and I thought I sold them. Like, I forgot about them because then, like, all the reselling, I started doing all that. And then, like, five months ago, I got an email from Goat saying, hey, your Goat storage is expiring. We've had these for three years. Like, that's crazy. Do you want Do you want us to take them or do you want to spend 12 bucks to ship them back? And I was like, well, like, they're worth 30 three years ago. <laughs> like, the 12 bucks is, like, a hefty value. And I was like, you know what? Like... Instead of tossing, like, just for the mems, let's ship them back. So then I got them back, and now they're back. I don't – I'll probably wear them over the summer. But, yeah, that the, silhouette the NMD was era huge. was – that was – Adidas needs to – and I guess any company, like, every company wants to come out with the next it shoe. But, like, Adidas That's really true. needs to right now. They have to. And they said, like, you know, the next – what is it the next year the next two years are going to be their building years and then you know 25 26 when those show up then they're planning on taking over again and i'm like okay we'll see they gotta do something because it's just not working story about the nmd i remember like where was i working i was working at cole Haan, and one of the guys i worked with had a yep. pair of nmds it was the exact same model where it was like the prime knit full prime knit the mid kind of cut and his was like a brown cream kind of like tan pair they mm -hmm. were reselling for like four hundred dollars at the time he wore wow. these shoes every day finally like clipped the uh prime knit on the side started ripping a hole through him and he's like man i love these shoes i'm gonna buy another dude spent four hundred dollars <laughs> on another oh. pair of nmds and i was like well what <sighs> what i was like i mean i get it but also Dang, man. Like, if you like, th that's kind of what I was just talking about with the mochas. Like, if exactly. I was ever going to buy another dead stock pair that's, like, expensive to undead stock just because I like them so much, like, it would either be, like, the rain cloud protection pack or the mocha ones. Like, if it's a shoe you really like, I get that. It's a bummer because it's an NMD, and those probably don't sell for anything True. now. But he probably, I'm assuming he wore those into the ground too, right? I'm sure. I I don't even know after that. I don't so, know what I would buy again. I'd buy actually I'd buy Wave Runners again. As bad as it is. I'm that's like the one shoe I miss. I feel like you I could get a VNDS pair for pretty cheap. You probably could. Especially now. But yeah. uh you need to go, right? We done. We no, we can it. keep rolling. Okay. That's all right. Cool. Um, let's see what else we got. 
Yeah, dude. Someone. There's someone some more pairs I want to talk about. The, someone uh, fix Adidas. The. Uh, yeah, I guess scroll down to the, the new mischief ones. Oh, right the, there, <laughs> dude. This is the last one I wanted to talk about okay, at least. Okay. Um, mischief. They know they're. Uh, everyone knows about them. Big red boots. They're, uh, gotta love they they came out with the backward shoe that can be worn both ways. And basically, the toe box is just cut out, and it's turned into a heel. So you can wear these either way. I They're not getting any traction, really. I mean, Mischief, it's like they'll drop just a banger, and then they'll drop, like, a couple of, like, L's. And yeah. that's fine. Like, you can't just, like, the content, you can't just drop banger after banger. Like, it's just not how it works. But, like... If you scroll down, you can also see their super normal two white mints I didn't, that they yeah. drop. Another shoe that tanked, like the tapes that dropped a while back, those tanked. Yeah. Um, it's just so. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, like if it was they'll, any they'll other colorway, another one, but I would have been here for it. But especially the super normals, I was like, eh, the mint, it's not for me. But and I. I know that they have crazy stuff in the works. Like, I remember meeting the team in Anaheim before the mm-hmm. Gobstompers ever came out, and they were showing us pictures of those, and it was like, whoa, these are like... Especially the original big... Gobstompers. I liked those a lot. And that was like during the Satan shoes, like mm-hmm. when that was hyped. And then it was like they did the Gobstompers, and then they did the Super Normals, and it was like, these are crazy. Dude. And so like... What I want them to do is I want them to keep going on the boots. Like, don't do too many, but do, like, do, like, Super Mario boots. Like I know. Oh, Red Wing so did. cool. Or do... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like cool I think someone... Well, no, because Sonic's, like, kind of similar, right? It's, like, red. Kind of, yeah. I think. But someone said SpongeBob. <laughs> yes. I saw, and I was like, dude, yeah. Well, the... Uh... Kanye's worn those boots, those the black ones. I think we've talked the about red those, wings. Yeah, or no, those may not be red wings. I don't know what they are. The big ones, though. Yeah, those are sick. By the way, they're crazy. Um, just... but yeah, like the like, there's so many that you could do that would be really cool. Yeah, I wonder what the insoles look like. I didn't even think about that. Is it like <laughs> footbed? The... Footbed kind of like middle like i wonder hmm i feel like breathability on these is ridiculous it's true <laughs> it's just like dude there's who just has no a toe box who has a catalog like mischief nobody it's just like if you lined it's a marketing up company. every shoe it's just the coolest it's stuff. a marketing company that goes through really weird ideas it's genius i love it it's brilliant yeah I'm here for it. All right, let's see if there's anything else. These I really liked. I don't really want to talk about them a lot, but the I think it's the Bodega Hoka Tor Ultra something. I, I just haven't really even seen them. I really liked the colorway on these. I would never wear them, but like, It'd be a really I good think winter cool. boot. I think it's a cool shoe. Definitely not for me, but purple. Yeah. Yeah. So we get a high and a low. The high is like a purple mauve colorway. Just looks very like outdoorsy, hiking, rugged. It's, and then... it's exactly what you would think a Hoka Bodega collab would look like. A hundred percent. And then the this one honestly just looks very like if you walked into any REI, this would be <laughs> sitting yeah. on shelves. The lows default at least. granola person MPC like, shoe. It really is. Just with a little yeah. bit of like mauve hits underneath, with the like, kind of green teal on top, like it's cool. It's cool. 100%. These, these I like the most, but again, I could never. I don't think I would ever pull them off. But yeah, yeah it's it's interesting. Um, I think we're back to where we were mm-hmm. last week. Now, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Nothing too too crazy, but no, definitely some good stuff. Let's see if we met. I'm curious what this is going to look like. The Nike SB and Powerpuff Girls collab. It's going to look red, blue, and green. You think they're going to do one shoe, or you think they're going to do three? 
I hope it's one because if it's three, it's gonna look exactly like the sour apple pack, like the green apples, yeah, and the blue raspberries. That's true. Like we just saw those. I like that. That's true. That's true. So I I hope it's one shoe. What do you think? I think one would be cool, but I feel like if they're they gonna theme it, it up it. and just be like, yeah. here's three. Like here's I, I don't know their names off the top of my head, but it's like you know. Yeah, I don't. Make them all Power themed for Fox each girls. Yeah, pack maybe. I, yeah, I don't know. But not too bad. Not too bad. It's a good week. Oh, these sure. I really like too. I don't know if you're familiar with IDK. He's a nope. artist, rapper. He uh, has a class at Harvard. I know that he used to teach for music. Uh, I actually saw him recently. He opened up for Pusha T. But he has his own little uh, Air Max. Wait, 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 wait. Slow. What? So is he an artist? He is. He's like a rapper. He a class at Harvard. Like he teaches a class at Teaches Harvard. music. I think it was like a course he taught for music, like production at Harvard for a little bit. Huh. That it's was, yeah. It's not, I just was thinking. I was like, wait, what? I know. It's like, wait, what? His like resume is just crazy. But Interesting. Okay. Uh, he did that a while ago, but I know he has a really good deal with Nike. Yep. The boy IDK. Interesting. Very cool stuff. Very good music if you're into rap. Anybody I like Nike there. bringing more people into the shoe collab world. Absolutely. I think that's genius. I completely agree. It's not my favorite shoe per se, but when I saw Nice Kicks post it and I saw IDK's name on it, I was like, okay, all right. I see you. I see you. Keep getting more creative people designing. Is that's all we need. definitely the way to go. That's definitely all we need. But all right, cool. That's it for episode 21, Crazy. 22, 30, 21, 21, 21. All right. All right. Well, Flying thank you so it. much for listening. Uh, if you listened on the podcast, move over to YouTube, subscribe to us and watch it over there. Cause then you can experience my, uh, impeccable scrolling skills on house of heat. So. It was good scrolling skills. I watched that whole time while I, I was talking. It. You're scrolling. So there was a, the there was just ones. one part with the hiccup with the threes trying to find the one photo, but we'll get there. Yep. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. Solid, man. Well, sweet. Thank you for listening.